and their managers. Of course, we have to touch on the Eurozone crisis. Let's talk about that. What is your stand on the way the uh, European Union has been dealing with the crisis so far? Well, first and foremost, I would like to say that this crisis doesn't really exist. This crisis was invented by our leaders. It doesn't exist, really. No, it's a crisis invented by our leaders in order to impose on the population restrictions. Today, in the name of the crisis, we can do anything. We reduce social benefits. We ask workers to work more and to earn less. We reduce public services, while at the end of the day, the citizens are not responsible for the crisis. This crisis was created by our leaders and financial markets. This was made on purpose, I'm sure of that. And who takes advantage of this? It's companies, they always end up with more dividends. That's what we notice. It is the European Union which got Greece, Spain and Portugal into trouble. We see that there's impoverishment of European populations. And this is shocking to see to which extent it's possible to reduce benefits and put a whole population into poverty. And all that because of a crisis that was created by financial interest. Now, also, you've been quite vocal about your position on what Belgium should do. You think that Belgium should go it alone. Now, why would this be the best solution for the country? I'm for an exit of the European Union, of the United Nations and NATO, because today all those institutions don't bring peace, but they are warmongering institutions. We must exit because what we see are these institutions don't work in the interests of the population. They protect interests, they protect lobbies, financial interests. They are in the hands of big international companies, and today citizens have forgotten. We have to go back to the basics. We have to go back to what's essential. Doing politics is to defend citizens. It's to fight for the lifestyle and the population in your country. And today, Europe is doing otherwise. It defends big companies, gives them a lot of money, and the citizens will leave them on the side of the road. So I don't think it's normal. I've always been in favour of a social Europe. And today, it's a money Europe. And that I cannot support. Well, Mr. Louis, thank you very much for being on the programme and for giving us your time.